right, so today we're going to talk about hypothermia. It's a very, very serious problem that can arise as a result of becoming too cold. And for the first step in our lesson, uh, we're just going to go over some kind of key points that are important to know. It's a little bit dry, so I'm going to try and keep it quick. Um, and in lieu of a uh, whiteboard, uh, we're just going to use a quick PowerPoint here. So I'll bring you a little bit closer to see what we got going on. And it's flipped, unfortunately, because of iPhones. Um, so hypothermia, there's a few key questions that we need to know the answers to. Uh, the first is, what is it? The second is, how do you get it? The third is, why is it bad? And the fourth is, how do you treat it? And these are all really, really important things to know uh, in order to uh, be aware of hypothermia, to know how to recognize it, and know how to combat it when it does occur. All right, so uh, first thing, what is it? So as we can see here, uh, hypothermia is a medical emergency that occurs when your body loses heat faster than it can produce heat. Uh, which causes your body's temperature to get dangerously low. Uh, a normal body temperature is around 37 degrees Celsius or 89.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, hypothermia occurs as your body temperature passes below 35 degrees Celsius. So those two uh, points of degrees are, are a very, very big difference maker uh, in the context of your body's uh, internal temperature. Um, next thing, how do you get it? Uh, hypothermia occurs as a result of long uh, exposure to cold temperatures. Uh, so in the context of sailing, if you're if it's really, really windy out, the water's kind of chilly, the sun's not coming down too hard, it can be fairly easy to get cold very, very quickly. And if you remain cold for too long, uh, it becomes increasingly likely that you will wind up with hypothermia. Next thing, why is it bad? Hypothermia is bad, first of all, because if it is left untreated, uh, you can die. And that's why um, it's absolutely important to understand it and understand how to treat it so that no one dies. Uh, there are different levels of severity. Um, you know, it can range from sort of uncontrollable shivering to passing out. Um, you know, you, you can lose your memory, you can, all, all sorts of kind of nasty things can happen um, as you progress through the stages of hypothermia. Uh, but it's really, really important to treat it right when you first come across it so that, as I said at the beginning, you don't die. Uh, so how to treat it? It's fairly simple, and we'll go into this later in the next part of the lesson. Um, but the first thing that you need to do is remove any cold and wet clothing because those are just going to prevent you from getting dry and warm and they're just going to allow the condition to progress. Uh, the second thing is you need to get yourself into some warm and dry clothes. Um, they can't be wet and, you know, ideally if they're warm, that's, that's considerably preferable. Uh, the next thing is warm, dry blankets. Don't take a wet towel uh, out of your locker because that's not going to do anything. Um, and the last thing is to drink warm water, but not to drink hot water. Uh, that's a very important thing to remember. And uh, now you can. So what do you mean? All right, Mr. Mr. Young. I'm gonna. We're gonna play a game now. Uh, I so games. I need. I need you to pay attention to me. And okay, uh, <laughs> uh, so this is my friend uh, Terry the Tiger, and uh, Terry the Tiger has hypothermia. <gasps> so we need to talk about what we're gonna do to help Terry the Tiger, and it's gonna be a refresher of what we went over at the beginning of the lesson. Um, and you're gonna give me a hand. So first thing, Mr. Young, do we? Here I have a cup of very hot water fresh off the kettle. Is it a good idea to give this to Terry the Tiger? Well, it sounds like it because he's cold, right? No, you want to give him warm water. You want to give Terry the Tiger some warm water? Just pour it in his mouth. Glug, 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 glug. Alrighty, thank you. Uh, next thing. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Over here, <laughs> we have Two types of towels, a wet towel 
and a dry towel. Which one do we want to give to Terry the Tiger? The dry one. Right. Do you want? That was gold. All right, Mr. Young. So before we wrap Terry the Tiger in the blanket to keep him warm, we need to give him one extra layer of warm, dry clothes. So grab that sweater over there and give it to Terry the Tiger. Don't you? Okay, yeah. It's like a freak owns this sweater. <laughs> okay, he's nice and cozy in his sweater. He's got his hood on. Now you can wrap him up in the blanket so he stays nice and warm. Alrighty, Mr. Young. So, before we wrap up, I want to do one last thing. I want us to review some of the things that we learned today. So, can you tell me what hypothermia is? It's when the body drops below 35 degrees Celsius. Yes, very, very right. Body drop below 35 Celsius. So our second question is, how do you get it? Um, is it when, when you get like wet and bogged down or could it just be from being out in the cold too long and not being properly layered? Both, both of those are great answers. So in the context of sailing, it usually comes from getting wet. Um, but, but you know, you can get it without getting wet just from long exposure to cold. But generally what it comes from across the board is being exposed to cold temperatures for a very long time. So let's write that down on the board here. Being exposed to cold temperatures for a long time. Does that sound right? Sounds good. All right. Uh, the next thing is, why is it bad? And this is an important one to remember. Can it, can it kill someone? It can. And what, but what needs to happen for it to kill somebody? If it keeps on going. So, if we don't treat it properly, can, do you think it can kill someone? Yes. You are right. But... Do you just kind of die right away or are there lots of symptoms going that, that show up along the way? There's going to be lots of symptoms like uh, they're going to stop shivering and their, their lips could be purple or blue. Um, and and they, they may not necessarily feel cold anymore. Right. Good stuff, Mr. Young. Uh, and then lastly, how do you treat it? And we just went over this, so you should remember this one. You, you get them an extra layer of clothing and as much dry, dry clothing as you can put on them. And if they have wet clothing, you take it off them and you then wrap them in other blankets and you give them warm, but not hot water. Fantastic, Mr. Young. Well done.